Hello and welcome. So in the last couple of videos we looked at drawing our own little horizontal lines in scripts and uh, that was fun. But let's get a little fancier than that. There's a program called Boxes. Uh, if you're on a Linux machine, search your repositories. Uh, you can use apt, aptitude, apt-get, whatever you want if you're on a Debian-based system or whatever package manager you use. We're going to search for Boxes. You can see there's a few options here and there's one called Boxes. And it says right here it's text mode box and comment drawing filter. Uh, you can see I have it installed already. If you didn't, you can just uh, sudo apt install boxes if you're on a Debian-based system, and that will install it. Once installed, it's it's very easy to use. Um, for example, I have a file here. It's a text file. It says uh, message.tx. I can cut that out, and you can see it just says welcome, filmsbychris.com, thank you. Well, now I can use the boxes command since I have that installed and give it that file, and it draws a box around our text. Not too fancy yet, but uh, we could also pipe into that. So I can say echo, this is a test, type it into boxes and it will put it on that. And if I was to give echo the dash E option, I can now put new lines in there. I can say this is a line, uh, new line, new line, another one, new line, test. And you can see it will now put the box around that. Again, not that fancy, but it gets fancier. Let's go ahead and type boxes again and do dash L. It will now list out. You can see here uh, a bunch of different boxes it has built into the application. And we can go through here and you can see like, let's go ahead and pick one. Oh, I like that one looks like fun. So you just find the one you want and just look at the name above it. This one's Ian Jones. Okay, so now I can say boxes uh, dash D for the box I want and then the message that we want to have so in this case our text file I'll hit enter on that and it puts that box around our text again let's go ahead and look at a few more uh, oh here that one looks fun twisted so we can find the name it's just twisted all lowercase we can go ahead and run this command again and we can put the word twisted in there and again we can do the same thing instead of giving it a text file I can say echo this is my text or my test whatever and we'll put it in there uh, we can look at a bunch of other ones around here you can see some of them are just patterns some of them are pictures we got flowers uh, we got one called scroll that we can use Santa uh, we can do peek with a little guy peeking out the top nuke uh, mouse and it's important girl a fence a dog cat, girl with a Santa cap on, boy. Let's go ahead and give some of these a try. We'll just come in here and I will just say boy. So there's a boy. I can say girl. There's a girl. Cat. Dog, etc. Now, you could use this in a shell script. The user would have to have boxes installed on their system. When you can, you might want to avoid using external applications. You know, obviously, if you're writing some sort of program or script, you would create some sort of in installer package, like on a Debian system, a deb file, and make this a dependency, and then Linux would install it for you. That's fine. Um, but then you go to other systems, uh, you know, you would have to package it for maybe um, uh, Apple computers or even Windows. You can run uh, Bash on both of those. Bash is the default shell on, uh, on Mac OS, last I checked. Um, but doesn't mean that Box is necessarily available. You might have to install it. Now you're getting kind of messy. So if you don't need to dynamically change the text in here, so let's say I wanted this and I wanted this at the top of my program, well, I can just take this output and put this into a script and echo it out. You know what I'm saying? So, so yes, using boxes is great, but if you can avoid putting that into your script, if the text isn't going to change, you can still use boxes to generate it and then just embed that in your script. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.